Hi, I'm Phil, and today I'm going to look at one of the projects of the M5 stack MIDI unit with a DIN connector. So um, let's have a look at the unit before we go to the project and uh, what it is. So we'll just expand that mind map. And uh, this is uh, the unit. The actual chip was designed in France, and it does a full MIDI control. So uh, you can use this with external MIDI devices, or you can just plug in uh, using the 3.5 millimeter audio cable to a audio uh, speaker or headphones. So it's got two modes of operation. It includes two different types of um, connections to a uh, MIDI unit, the uh, DIN five pin, or alternatively, you can use the 3.5 millimeter. Okay, so uh, would you, what would you use this for? For making your own MIDI musical instrument in either input or output mode. And the cost of the unit is around about $14.50. And it uh, has just been released fairly recently, and I got it about a month ago. So uh, these are the applications. And uh, if we just look at the hardware of it, the specifications, uh, going back to the uh, MIDI chip itself, is, it's based on a, a SAM 2695, and it um, implements full MIDI control. So you can see those two modes that we're talking about earlier, the MIDI in and uh, the data rate from the host. And um, what we're going to do now is um, actually look at the project. So so before we do that, software-wise, uh, there's an excellent library available. So you can program this in the Arduino IDE using C++. Or alternatively, I'm going to use um, UI Flow. So if you go to my projects, I've done a few of them. And uh, the last one I'm going to look at is the Volca FM. And uh, this is the project here. So we'll close all the other titles down so that we can actually uh, see the objective. First of all, what it looks like on the desktop. This is my desktop arrangement and uh, a closer view of the M5 uh, stack core and the encoder and the MIDI unit are all connected to a Lego baseboard. And uh, you can see the screen there. Um, we've got um, the name of the program, and uh, we're debugging the program with um, checking to see that we're tracing through a score and the index to the notes on that score and we're also showing the master volume there. So let's have a look at that uh, in detail. So there's what it looks like on the screen. And those numbers in the middle are rows. There's uh, two rows of four each. That They are the um, MIDI values of the notes that will play on the sequence, the sequencer. Under that, we've got the um, beats per minute. And we select that with button C. A selects a um, an array of notes. We've got 16 of them. And I just go through the scales. B selects the notes on the sequencer. There's our SAM 2695. And the encoder just below that. So let's have a look at what the objectives are. What we're trying to do is play MIDI notes on a Volker. FM. And uh, we want to include a sequencer that plays eight steps, and we can vary the uh, the pitch of any step. We can also vary the, uh, the beat of our sequence or of our notes in the musical score. Uh, so uh, to do that, we're going to use the M5 stack eight encoder unit. We're going to also explore other options like envelope shaping, velocity setting, uh, and also adjusting the master volume. 
So the hardware-wise, uh, we'll just have a look at um, what it looks like. We're using M5 stacked units, so uh, a core two, a MIDI unit, Grove cables to connect everything together, and the um, basic um, encoder with the uh, potentiometer. And all of that comes from uh, M5 stack. We're using the Korg Volker, and this is the arrangement. So um, we might go across now and um, have a look at that. I'm going to couple the Korg Volker FM with an M5 stack Core 2 computer and a, a MIDI unit that's connected to the uh, Core 2 computer. So uh, let's have a look at it. We start off with the uh, Core 2, and um, we need to use uh, three ports. So there's port A, B, and C, and we also connect the USB port to our computer for programming. But um, besides the Core 2, we have to put on a, um, a battery at a bottom, and that gives us the additional ports. So that goes on the base, on the bottom, and uh, we use the PC for programming. Now we have um, three ports, and we'll go and populate those. The first one, we're going to add an M5 Stack 8 encoder unit, and I'm going to use that to uh, set the pictures of our sequence. So we're going to have a uh, eight-step sequencer using the encoder unit. And for the master volume, I'm going to use a, a potentiometer called the M5 angle. And on port C, I'm going to add the M5 stack MIDI with the DIN connector. So what's important here is that we um, add, uh, we slide the switch into the separate mode. Uh, with a audio amp and speaker, we can hear it. And I've now added the uh, Korg Volker FM using the audio out from the Volker FM and um, a MIDI cable from the M5 stack using the uh, input to the Volker FM. And that's the arrangement for our uh, Volker hardware or the Volker FM combined with the Core 2 and the MIDI unit. Okay, just before we look at the uh, software, the operation of the unit is going to set up the um, both MIDI devices in channel one. And uh, or except on the M5 stack, they actually set that up at MIDI zero which is not really complying with the standard. But long as we know about it, our software uh, will be okay. And um, we need to make sure that our M5 stack MIDI unit is set up for separation. Okay, software-wise, uh, we'll have a look at that in a minute. So let's have a look at the software. I'm going to use a UI Flow from M5 five stack and uh, the IDE that you can see on the screen here is online so on the far left we've got the uh, screen and it's just a matter of painting that so if you want one of the labels you just grab a label and you could just then put it on the screen I've added the the units and you can see I've got three of them here I've got the MIDI and in the middle the eight encoder then the um, angle sensor which is used for the master volume control and this is the overall program on the right so um, at the startup we've uh, on the left we've got the uh, startup routine and uh, under that we've got a function uh, for getting the um, uh, the data so we've got two functions or three functions all together the middle column is Two more functions, and on the right, we've got the uh, processing of buttons A, B, and C. So A is going to play a sequence. B is going to play the uh, notes 
for our sequencer, and C is going to change the beats. So uh, let's have a look at that in more detail. We'll just zoom up so you can we'll um, wander through it. So on starter, we simply initialize the encoder. Uh, we then call a function called initialize values. And uh, we'll just go across and have a look at that. So we're setting up um, an array called score one. And it's got 16 notes. And I'm just going through the scales on that. Going from uh, 60, which is uh, MIDI or middle C. And we go up the scales. Then score two is um, another uh, list. Uh, but that's, this time it's going to be created by the values that we read in from our encoder. Most of the other values I'm not using in this program, but can be used for future. That is sending the velocity values, the release time, and the beats per minute. And um, let's have a look at the um, getting the notes. So when we go to our main loop, our main loop starts here, we get the value of the potentiometer and we map that from uh, 0 to 100, uh, 1,023 to 0 to 100. Uh, we show that on the um, screen on label 4, and uh, we then uh, set the uh, master volume on the MIDI unit. Then we get the notes. So when we get the notes, we just simply... Um, uh, set the encoder value uh, to zero or the encoder number, and we're going to scan that. So um, that's going to be set. That's going to set our uh, pitch potentiometer, and uh, we then go through um, all eight encoders. Then we show those on the screen. So we'll we'll see that in a minute. The other function is, uh, well, we'll see in the uh, initialize. Now we um, set the button. So when we press button A, we're just simply showing that on the screen that we've got an A. Then we go through and set uh, all of the, we go through and play the notes in score one. So that's what's happening in this uh, loop here. And B is quite similar. So instead of um, score one, it's score two. But in score two, we're actually getting the notes uh, from the encoder unit. And um, finally, for uh, button C, we just simply uh, set the beats per minute. And that's the software for our um, Volker FM, controlled by the... Um, M5 stack and uh, MIDI unit. But um, overall, uh, we were able to achieve the uh, objectives that we set out. That is, we could play uh, MIDI notes from the um, Core 2 computer, uh, and that was um, sent out via the uh, M5 stack MIDI unit to the Korg Volker FM. And we are able to... Um, not only have a sequence of notes uh, that, that was in a file, but we uh, created a sequencer of eight steps and we could vary the pitch of each step. We could also vary the beat uh, on the M5 stack using button C. And uh, we've explored some other options and our master volume was able to work. Overall, we were able to achieve what we wanted, but there's a um, slight problem with the synchronization on the screen, and it goes ahead and races through and completes the um, uh, MIDI sequences, and then it updates. So there's a lack of synchronization there. And to get the last note, you actually have to conclude everything with that final statement. And uh, we might look at some of the references. We'll go back to the top and uh, have a look at the references um, for this project. So overall, if you're interested, 
go over to uh, M5 Stack, and there's a, a wiki there which will go through uh, the technical details, and you can purchase the unit in their shop. And stay tuned, and we'll have a desktop demonstration. Here we have the Korg Volker FM, and I've selected the musical instrument, which is a music box, and I can play that on the uh, touchpad here. Or alternatively, I'm using a um, M5 Stack Core 2 computer with a MIDI module and an 8 channel encoder and potentiometer. So if we look at the screen on the um, M5 Stack Core, the um, top row tells us the name of the program and the version. Uh, the index tells us the note in the array. The master volume is 49, and that's set by the potentiometer here. And uh, the next two rows are the um, potentiometer values for the pitch and uh, they're set here so uh, if I adjust the first potentiometer you'll notice that's changing and um, over here we have a another M5 module and this is the MIDI module and it's based on the SAM 2695 chip and it's got a, a MIDI out and that MIDI out is going to MIDI in on the uh, Volker FM and uh, we have um, a couple of testing arrangements one is we can play a sequence of notes by pressing button A and um, button B plays the uh, sequence uh, on these middle two rows. So if I press button, button B, and that's the uh, Volker FM played using MIDI with a um, M5 stack Core 2 computer.